Hi, this is Dr. Hayek and this video is about assets and bases. In today's video, I will be showing you how you can calculate the pH of a weak acid. But before I start my video, let me remind you of the outline of this chapter, where I will be talking about five different topics, so please refer to the corresponding video for the topic of interest. In today's example, we will consider the following one. Calculate the pH of a 0.100 molar aqueous solution of hypochlorous acid. The Ka is given as 3.5 times 10 to the power minus 8. Now to calculate the pH of a weak acid, we have to follow 11 steps. I will walk you through every and each step. Now step 1, we write the major species in solution. Now since weak acid will not completely dissociate, so the major species is the acid itself. So the major species in solution are the weak acid, the hypochlorous acid, and water. In step 2, we write the equilibriums happening in the solution. So we have the dissociation of the weak acid and the Ka is given. And also we have the auto-ionization of water and the K of the equilibrium is represented by the Kw. Now in step 3, we need to determine which equilibrium will be determining the pH. Now looking at the values of Ka and Kw, we can see that Ka is higher than Kw, and therefore the equilibrium that will be determining the pH is the dissociation of the weak acid. So now we can write the expression of the equilibrium constant, which is Ka, that's equal to the product of the concentrations of H+, and OCl- divided by the concentration of the hypochlorous acid. Now in step 5, we determine the initial concentrations present in the solution. So now we have 0.100 molar for the hypochlorous acid, we have 0 molar for the hypochlorite, and 0 molar for H+, since we are ignoring the H+, that's coming from water. In step 6, we will say, let X be the amount of HOCl that will dissociate in water in reaching equilibrium. In step 7, we write the equilibrium, and now we say that initially we had 0.1 molar of the hypochlorous acid and 0 molar for H plus and 0 molar for OCl minus. Now after X molar uh, of HOCl dissociates, we will have X molar of H plus produced and X molar of OCl minus produced. Now at equilibrium, the equilibrium concentration of HOCl will be 0.100 minus X molar, the equilibrium concentration for H plus will be X molar, and the equilibrium concentration for OCl minus will also be X molar. In step 8, we will replace the equilibrium concentrations by their values, and therefore we get Ka is equal to X multiplied by X divided by 0.100 minus x. Now to simplify the calculation, we have to do the following assumption. So in step 9, we will say that since Ka is small, we will consider that x is too small compared to the initial concentration of hypochlorous acid, and therefore it will be neglected. So if we rewrite again the expression of Ka, we find that x squared divided by 0 0.100 is equal to 3.5 times 10 to the power minus 8, which will give us a value of x to be 5.9 times 10 to the power 5 molar. Now before we continue forward and find the pH, we need to check whether our assumption of neglecting x is a correct one or not. So step 10 we just use the 5% rule to verify whether the approximation is valid or not. So to verify this, we will just divide X by the initial concentration of the hypochlorous acid multiplied by 100%. Now, if the answer is less than 5%, our approximation will be valid. Now here we can see that the answer is 0.059%, which is smaller than 5%, and therefore our approximation is valid. So now we can proceed forward in finding the pH. So step 11, we 
determine the concentration of H+, plus, which is equal to the value of X. So that's equal to 5.9 times 10 to the power minus 5 molar. Now that we have the concentration of H+, plus, we can find the pH using the expression of minus log of concentration of H+, plus, and the pH is equal to 4.23. I hope this video was helpful to you, so please like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time.